Hello and welcome to this Imaginate tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple website using our site builder. Please make sure that you have your control panel login details at hand. These should have been included in your welcome email. If you are not sure what your login details are, please feel free to contact our accounts department and they will help you retrieve them. Let's start by going to your control panel. This can be found at my.imaginate.co.za. Make sure that there is no www in front of the address and then press enter. You will come to the following page. Type in the username and password that you have been provided with. The username will be a full email address. Once you have typed in the information, click login. If this is your first time using your control panel, you will see a disclaimer. You will need to agree to the disclaimer before you can continue. Ensure that you read all of the information before ticking I have read and understand the terms and conditions and then click accept. Once you have accepted the disclaimer, you will be taken to your main control panel page. On the left hand side of your screen, you will see a number of options. Click on hosting and domains. The following options will appear. Click Site Builder Packages and you will be taken to this screen where you will see your domain name. Next to the domain, you will see the options of Site Builder and Controls. Click on the Site Builder option to start building your site. You will now be in your main Site Builder editor. From here, you can change your template, add information, and edit the information you have on your website. If you have a light hosting package or larger, you will also be able to add or edit images from here. But let's start by going to your template builder. From your template builder, you can change the look of your site. You can change your background, color scheme, layout, graphics, and you can add an image as a banner to your page. Let's start by naming our website. In this case, the title is going to be test and the slogan will be testing, testing, one, two, three. Check that this is the title and slogan that you want and then click save. Now that your site has a name, Let's try changing the layout of the page. On the left hand side of your screen, you will see a tools menu. Scroll over it and the following options will appear. Select layout. You will have the choice to choose a layout or to customize your layout. There are four set layouts to choose from. Each of them will change where the sidebar, banner, menu and main text are on your website. Play around and choose one that you like. If you don't like any of the set layouts, you can customize your layout by adding or removing borders or making selections of the page wider. For example, I want my banner to be wider, so I will click banner and select full width. Next, let's choose a color scheme. Select the color option in the tools menu. You will see two options, choose base color and customize your scheme. Let's start by choosing a base color. I like purple, so I want my base color to be purple. The site builder will automatically change all of the colors on your site to match the base color that you choose. If you don't like the color that it's chosen, you can customize your scheme. For example, I don't like the color that it chose for my slogan. So I will select customize your scheme, click the edit button next to title colors, and then choose a darker color for my site tagline. You can do this for each section of your website. Now I'm happy with the colors, I want to have a more exciting background. Select the graphics option in the tools menu and click on the choose your background option. You will see a number of different patterns to choose from. Play around with them. Once you have chosen the pattern that you like, you can change the color of the background or the color of the pattern, and you can even change the size and frequency of the pattern. Next, I want to change the menu buttons. Click on choose your menu graphics under the graphics option of your tools menu and you will have a few graphics to choose from. I quite like the square look, so I will choose that. If you don't like the colors that it picks, you can change the color of the text or background until you are happy. Now I want to add a banner to my website. You can do that by clicking banner and title under the graphics option of your tools menu. You can upload a picture from your computer to use as a banner, and from here you can also change the title and slogan of your website if you want to. Change your banner Click the Browse option and find the image that you want to upload. Make sure that you check the recommended size and the accepted file types before clicking Upload. You will now see that the banner has been added to your page. Finally, you can change the font of your page to either sans serif, serif, or monospace. 
You can change your font by selecting the Fonts option in the Tools menu, and then clicking Choose Your Font Group. T test out the different styles and choose one that you like. If you are happy with the look of your site, you can click Save Template to start adding information. If you want to start from scratch, you can click on the Reset button. Once you're happy, click the Back to My Dot button at the top of your screen. Now that we have set up our template, let's add some content. You can add information to your home page by clicking on the Home Page Editor. You will be taken to the following page. From here, you can add a header to your home page, like this is an Imaginate tutorial, for example. You can then add keywords to make finding your site with a search engine easier. In this case, we are going to use Imaginate, Site Builder, Home Page, and Tutorial. You can also add a description of what your site is about. In this case, we're going to say, this is a tutorial on building a website using Imaginate Site Builder. Next, you can type in any information that you want people to find on your home page. This can be information about you or your company and can be as long as you like. You can also add information to your sidebar from the home page editor. This information will show up on each page of your website. Once you have finished adding information to your home page, you can click Save and then choose another part of the Site Builder Editor to go to. How about we go to the Blog Editor now? If you have a micro package or higher, you will be able to add blog posts to your website. You can use this to inform your customers about new sales or recent happenings of your company. Let's write a blog post now. To write a new blog, click on the Add button next to the Add New Posts option. You can then give your blog a title and write up information. For example, I want to write a blog about this tutorial, so I will title the post Tutorial, and under Post I will write, this is the blog section of the tutorial. Once you are finished, you can click Save. You will then see your blog post listed under Previous Blog Posts. If you want to change the information that you included, you can edit the post, or if you decide that you don't want to include that information on your website, you can delete it. Next, let's go to the Gallery Editor. If you have a light hosting package or higher, you will be able to add pictures to your site from here. To add a picture, click the Add button next to the Upload New Images option. You will then be able to add an image and give it a title and a description. Although large images will be scaled down, it is best to add small images to begin with to ensure that the pictures upload quickly and easily without any problems. Click on the Browse button to select the image that you want to upload, and then give it a title and a description. For example, I'm going to upload this picture of a koala, and I'm going to call it Koala, and under description I will type, this is an Australian animal. Once you have added your picture and information, click Save to start uploading the picture. Once it has been successfully loaded, you will see the picture under Currently Uploaded Images, and if you scroll over it, you will see a preview of the picture. You can click Edit to change the title or description of the picture, or if you decide that you don't want to include that picture on your website, you can delete it. Finally, we will go to the Contact Editor. Here you can edit the contact information that people will see on your website. You can type in your name, contact number, fax number, address, or email address for customers to contact you. For example, under name we'll type Imaginate. Under contact number we'll type 86 111101 and under email address we'll type in info at imaginate.co.za. Once you have entered the information that you want to include, click Save. You have now edited each of the sections of your website. Let's go to the main page to finish things up. On the right hand side of your screen, you will see two sections entitled Site Status and Module Status. You will see that your site is currently offline and that each of your modules is currently offline as well. Click Enable for each of your modules to ensure that your customers will be able to view each section. You will see that the color will change to green and that the Enable button will change to a Disable one. You can then click Go Online under Site Status to get your website up and active. And now you have created a website using Imaginate Site Builder. If you have any problems or have any questions, please feel free to contact our technical support.